Hello, everyone. We are live at 5 at Broadway.com. It is Tuesday, September 11th. I'm Paul Wontorek. And I'm Beth Stevens. And over there, we have content producer Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. And an exciting guest today, Mr. Bryce Pinkham. Bryce Pinkham. Who we love from many Broadway uh, performances. Many a Broadway show. Including, of course, A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. He was our vlogger. That goes to the musical. Uh, I love <laughs> Ghost to the Musical. I can't help it. I'm the, that's me. I'm the one. Uh, there's others, too. Yeah. Um, but but today we're actually uh, talking about uh, something very serious. But mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna we'll have a good there. time with Bryce. But we're gonna talk about something that uh, means a lot to him today. It is Suicide Prevention Month. Week? A oh, month. Is it yeah. week? Both. Both. Month. Both. Both. Day. Month. Week. Is uh, together. We're talking about it. And uh, Bryce is running for uh, in, in memory of a very special person. So we're go we're gonna talk about that. But first, running a today's the marathon, the New York City Marathon. Yeah. I'm sorry, but first, uh, which I could never do, Beth. Beth. Is a marathon. Is a she could do I'm it. I can't it. do it, but Bryce can do it. Uh, we're going to talk to him. But first, today's top five. A new Broadway play was announced today, and we are so excited. We are psyched. This is a surprise. We are psyched. This was a surprise today. We found out that Taylor Mac is going to have a Broadway show starring. Who is Taylor Mac? Beth? Taylor Mac so explain to is the a kids. Pulitzer Prize finalist and MacArthur genius. They always put the, the genius. genius in quotes, so take it as you want. Uh, grant recipient, playwright, and this play stars Nathan Lane and Andrea Martin. Crazy. And yeah. no, it gets better. Directed by George C. Wolfe. Wow. <gasps> mm -hmm. Wow. You, those are all my favorite. And people. what you is it? That's a good question. <laughs> it's called Gary, a sequel. To Titus Andronicus. <laughs> now I know that's your favorite Shakespeare play, Paul. Of course. Yeah. That's the one. So let me read it to you. Uh, in Gary, <laughs> it's just already you just love it, don't you? Just from yeah. the title. Yeah. Well, I just want to see them together. The worldview intersects with Shakespeare's first tragedy, Titus Andronicus. So basically, let me just—I could read this to you—but yeah. basically, the Roman Empire has fallen, and Nathan Lane and Andrea Martin are cleaning up the bodies. Don't mean to be gross. <laughs> But that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. Additional casting will be announced later. It will begin performances on March 5th and open on April 11th at the Booth Theater. Fantastic. Obviously, this is a comedy. Yeah. <laughs> and some of our favorite Broadway stars are lending their voices to a very popular comic, like animated series. Not Don't comic. ask me, Animated honey. series. It's Beth happening. and I love Bob's Burgers. Oh, yes. Almost as much as we love Titus Andronicus. Uh, Bob's Burgers is a TV show on mm -hmm. Fox, um, and they're doing a musical episode. David Diggs and Andrew Randalls and Josh Gad will all be on the episode. It's a musical episode mm -hmm. in honor of the 150th episode, also the ninth season premiere. The title of the episode is Just One of the Boys with a Z. For now, number four, for now, not number four. Anyway, <laughs> Just One of the Boys, for now, for now. Love it. uh, it'll have four original songs, and it's about a boy band. So watch it on September sure. 30th at 8.30 p.m. on Fox. Mm -hmm. And two leading ladies are taking their bow on Broadway tonight. Okay. A lot of people We have some new casting. Tonight. There's a lot of bowing tonight. These are actually featured performances. This is Rosemary Harris, who's going to step in for Dame Diana Rigg in My Fair Lady. It's very exciting. Rosemary Harris. She's a nine-time Tony nominee. Wow. I did. I checked it you right checked before, it? We went, went, before we went live. She's a nine-time Tony nominee. And she won once. And she won yeah. once. And she was once beaten by her daughter, Jennifer Ely. Yep. Gotcha. Fun okay. That's a fun fact I just happened to randomly know. <laughs> um, Jennifer Samard is taking over the role of, what are her names? Mrs. Heron, Miss Norbury, and Mrs. George in Mean Girls from Carrie Butler, who's mm. gone on to Beetlejuice. So, happy bowing, ladies. Happy bowing. And in other casting news, someone is making their Broadway debut, and someone is stepping into those red high heel boots. But nope, that's not all the bowing, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, what's the rest of the bowing? Because call? over in Oz, uh, yeah. Ryan McCartan is uh, finally—you fans of yours have been waiting for this moment—taking mm -hmm. over as Fierro tonight um, in Wicked, the big Broadway smash hit. He was off Broadway in Heather's, mm -hmm. and he played Brad in that Fox. Rocky Horror Rocky Picture, Horror Picture show, show Live. With no, Reed Carney and everything else. Not yeah. live. Mm -hmm. That not one. Live. Oh, let's do the dot, dot, dot. Let's do the time warp again. Um, and then in Kinky Boots, Mark Ballas is taking over the role of Charlie Price tonight, succeeding David Cook. And he won Dancing with the Stars. Mm -hmm. And he was previously in Jersey Boys. So he was the final congratulations, Frankie. both you cute guys. That was a nice way of saying that, mm. Paul. 
And the bowing is not over yet because we have two new people are who are me? joining. Are yeah. We have a lot of casting <laughs> we news. We have a lot today. of casting news today. It's not casting we, news, it's this bowing is ca- news. Bowing this is ca- noise. This is casting because this is new. We didn't know it's about new. this. Oh, it's oh, new. Today. I'm sorry. This, yes, this was new today. Some, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're, don't be upset by people getting jobs. Oh, I'm very happy. All right. I love oh. Mara Davi. Mara Davi and Takara Cash are joining, starting tonight, the play that goes wrong on Broadway. Mm-hmm. I like to say it like that. They're replacing Ashley Bryant and Amelia McLean, who played their final performance on September 9th. It's a great show. It's uh, may, it, blah, blah, I can't talk. Longest the play that goes play. wrong. Won the Broadway.com on Choice Awards. Just wanted to get those facts out. And we'll play its final performance on Broadway on January 6th. And it's on the national tour now. It's, a, it's, it's everywhere. everywhere. It's a thing. Welcome back, Mara Davi. I'm okay. really excited. Thank you so much, Beth. Uh, we are going to welcome Bryce Pinkham. Hey, Caitlin, why don't you tell us more about Bryce? Yes. As we have Bryce in the studio with us today, he's a Tony-nominated Broadway favorite. But like Paul said, today we're going to be talking about a little bit something close to the heart and a little bit more personal because Bryce is going to be talking about his partnership with the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention and his plan to run the New York Marathon in honor of his late agent and friend, Mark Schlegel. He'll be running with a goal of raising $5,000 to fight stop suicide. In addition to discussing his hashtag Real Convo campaign, we can also learn a little bit more about Pinkham's incredible Broadway Broadway career, where he has been in Holiday Inn, A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, Bloody Bloody Andrew Jackson, Ghost the Musical, and The Heidi Chronicles. Be sure to follow him on social media at The Bryce Capades and lead all of your questions in the comments down below. Please welcome Paul and Bryce. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Good to see you. The hair is looking good as always. Thank you. Same to you. Good to see you as always. Um, so you are here today for a very special reason. Um, let's just let's just talk about it. Let's yeah. let's get it out for people. Well, so, and that's exactly the point. Um, right. That's exactly the point of this campaign is let's talk about it. Um, right. So I'm very grateful to be here today and to have the opportunity to, to talk a little bit about um, my story and my relationship uh, with my my uh, late agent Mark Schlegel. Who Mark Schlegel was was a great uh, theatrical agent and and very well loved. Yeah, um, just beloved among the community and. Um, really uh, one of those people that everyone had a nice thing to say about. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, Mark died by suicide a uh, little over a year ago. Mm-hmm. And um, this campaign, uh, hashtag Real Convo, is uh, something that I have uh, partnered with the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention as an attempt to um, help my own process as a suicide loss survivor, mm-hmm. um, but also um, to turn to uh, turn this moment in in my life into something positive for for others. Um, And so, as you can see, I mean, even just sitting here and talking with you about it, it's a difficult subject, right? And and I think that's what we have to learn how to get past. Mm -hmm. Um, And what I'm hoping that this campaign will do is give me a chance to um, learn more about it and Mm -hmm. learn how to talk more about it um, you know, we talk about physical health all the time. Right. Uh, if 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 you came in today and in the green room you said, uh, I I feel like I got a little pain in my chest. Right. Um, I would have said, Oh, really? Where is it? And yeah. uh, it doesn't have to be traveling into your left arm, does it? Are you having any cold sweats? Like mm-hmm. I would have known how to sort of engage you yep. in a discussion about your physical health, mm-hmm. um, because that's been taught to us. Mm-hmm. But I think we're behind in talking about our mental health mm-hmm. and knowing how to talk about it. And so. Um, the campaign hashtag real convo is just well, this uh, is sort of what, what you mean by that. Yeah, that you, you can have a hashtag real convo with me. Yeah, and basically yeah. what I'm asking people to do is is join me and just um, uh, post a video or a photo of yourself um, with a sign that you can make on your own or or come up with a creative way to say it. Mm-hmm. But basically, what I'm asking people to do is commit themselves to being a part of the conversation. Yeah. Right, you don't have to be perfect at it. Um, uh, there's another campaign that American uh, Foundation for Suicide Prevention has that actually uh, Gideon Glick is a part of called uh-huh. Seize the Awkward, uh-huh. um, which is just about learning how to get past the awkward um, part of the mm-hmm. conversation mm-hmm. and just get in there with the people you know and talk about mental health. Mm-hmm. Learn how to talk about your own, uh, learn how to talk about others, how to ask people how they're doing. Um, so that's what I'm going to uh, undertake as I prepare for the marathon as well. Okay, so let's let's talk about Mark. Uh, Mark is someone who's in your life for a very long time. Mm-hmm. Tell me how you first met Mark and sort of what he meant to you. Well, when I was in school, uh, Mark uh, used to come to to Yale and do um, 
coaching for graduates before they came into their showcase in New York City. Mm -hmm. And so um, I was in my second year, and, and he was there coaching the, the class above me. And um, he came to see a performance that I was doing of the last five years at the Yale Cabaret. Mm -hmm. And uh, he happened to sit down next to my mom, and they got in conversation. And uh, my mom still skeptical about Bryce becoming an actor at this point. Um, <laughs> and uh, she rushed to me after the show. And, and before she could say anything about the, the show, she said, oh, I found you an agent. <laughs> I said, OK, mom, thanks. I have another year of school. You know, um, I, I, don't, I don't need an agent yet, but, but thank you very right. much. Um, but sure enough, uh, waiting to meet me was Mark Schlegel, and um, he's very just kind and considerate, and, and we, uh, he was very clear with me that, you know, that we wouldn't have any sort of professional things to talk about until I graduated school, but he wanted to mm -hmm. know that he was a fan and, and wanted me to know he was a fan, and, and we ended up, uh, ended up signing with Cornerstone Talent, um, Mark Schlegel and Steve Stone, um, who represent a number of Broadway people, right. and, uh, and, uh, I just knew that I'd found the right place. And, and, and so Mark really took me out of school and, and helped usher me into the New industry. York. And, and that must have also given you comfort at that point in your school to kind of go, wow, an agent is sort of like, you know what I mean? That must have been like such a confidence Definitely. boost too. And, and, and the thing that I, that I said about M Mark um, that I, I loved most about him was he had this uncanny ability to see something in people that they couldn't yet see themselves. Mm. Um, and that he really saw something in me and you know, oftentimes uh, in this business, you just need somebody who believes in you yeah. to, to show you how to believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and Mark was that person for me. Um, I'm originally from California, and I was moving to the big city, you know, all on my own. And, and Mark was really my North Star. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, this has been difficult for, for me, but it's been even more difficult for his family. And yeah. um, and I've asked their blessing to, to do this, and, and they've given it. And, and I'm, I'm proud to represent... Uh, many actors who, who know Mark and mm -hmm. who have um, been represented by him. And, and uh, so uh, I'm running for all of them. And uh, and so let's talk about the running. Yeah, um, let's. You actually, you put up a, a video on Vimeo I saw. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, you sort of said that after you found out about the loss of Mark, which was a little over a year ago, you started running. And you, you have actually have some videos of, of you running. Yeah, yeah. If you, if you uh, go to my Instagram page, uh, you, you can find a link yeah. to the full video in my bio. Um, at the Bryce Capades, but uh, yeah, I, I one of my favorite Instagram names. Yeah. By the way. <laughs> thank you, yeah. thank you. I uh, yeah, I started running, and and it, you know, one of the things that I'm going to talk about in this campaign is, is self care, um, mm. because that's another thing we we have to learn how to um, find for our ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, it's called self care. It's mm -hmm. not uh, it's not something that other people prescribe to you. And and by the way, uh, I'm I'm not a medical professional. You know, um, it usually this conversation is a, a way to start and sometimes lead people to, uh, you know, a, a medical professional who can really uh, prescribe treatment, some self-care, right. medication, you know, there are many different ways to, to um, improve one's mental health. But self-care, uh, for me, came in the form of exercise. And I found myself running a lot. And uh, as I was running in Central Park and all the other places you see on, on the, on the on the video. International. International <laughs> places, yeah, yeah. Yes. It was all over the world, really. Um, I found myself contemplating uh, uh, the one-year anniversary of, of Mark's passing and um, and how could I turn that into something positive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, uh, to approach that with purpose um, mm -hmm. and intention. And and I was running, and I thought, oh, my gosh, I, I, I have to ask if I can, if there's anybody who would let me run um, in Mark's honor for the marathon. And sure enough, I reached out to the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention, AFSP for short. And, uh, and they, were, they were glad to sign me up, and, and now I have to do it. So I've so been, 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 been training, it. putting in the miles, yeah. So, so you're trying to raise $5,000. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, and let's be honest. We can blow past $5,000. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, like, well, you're already halfway there. Yeah, from what, what I've seen. We, we did one day, and we were already halfway there. Uh -huh. So um, I, I think we, we may see that number change. But uh, I, I, look, I, I want to I raise awareness mm -hmm. as much as I want to yep. raise funds for um, American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. They're, they're doing uh, incredible work. Um, mm -hmm. They're funding research. Mm -hmm. We don't know enough about suicide. And mm -hmm. we, we know that it's a complex series of variables. Mm -hmm. um, but we don't know enough about it yet. So uh, they fund research, but they also fund um, campaigns that are aimed towards prevention and education um, so that we can 
like we do with other medical issues, mm -hmm. learn to see early signs, mm -hmm. learn to um, uh, you know, catch, catch something early so that it can be yep. properly treated and dealt with. Um, well, because what happens, uh, and I know, Caitlin, you also, mm -hmm. uh, if you lost someone w or w when you were... When I was in college four years ago this October. Right. Yeah. So this is also something very close to you. And I think what, what happens a lot, and obviously there have been a lot of, um, you know, Anthony Bourdain, Kate mm -hmm. Spade, it's been in the news yeah. uh, a lot recently. And it, what, what I think happens is everybody sort of says, well, I didn't see that coming. You know what I mean? That, that's always sort of the, mm -hmm. wow, I didn't, what do you mean? You know, it's always sort of a shock that this person uh, went down that path. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like that that's a lot of because of this because of the lack of conversations and the inability and the d discomfort of all this. Absolutely. And and what you know, I have that reaction all the time. Yeah. And, and and I think that uh, what the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention says is that talk saves lives mm -hmm. and that part of what we have to do as uncomfortable as it is, guys, is talk and mm -hmm. say the word suicide mm -hmm. and. Um, and talk about mental health mm -hmm. and make it a positive choice to talk about it as opposed to a stigmatized choice. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the Broadway community in particular is, is, um, has the ability to lead um, mm -hmm. in many areas, um, but this one in particular. You know, um, Broadway people are pretty conscious of, of mental health. You have to be in order to, mm -hmm. to go out in front of mm -hmm. so many people every yeah. night. You know? and, and so that's why I'm excited to to get people involved in this and to, to keep the conversation going because uh, it is about prevention, but it's also about connection. Um, as I said, talk saves lives, connection saves lives, and just letting somebody know mm -hmm. that you're a safe place, you know, to have a conversation, uh, you'd be surprised how far a tiny little conversation can go mm -hmm. when someone's having a rough day. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, it doesn't have to be a person in crisis. Mm -hmm. um, it might be, but you, maybe you're having a rough day. You just need to know that there's someone out there you can talk to. Right. And uh, we just have to get better at it. We all do. Mm -hmm. I do. Right. Um, so, so that's what it's all about. The mm -hmm. relationship between um, actors and agents is obviously something that I've never experienced in my own life. And it's really, it's really, uh, it's like a, almost like a family member. I and mean, when you're really going through, mm -hmm. and you, you, were, you were with Mark for 10 years? Yeah, Mark was my agent for 10 years. And you're right, he, he was at every opening night yeah. um, of mine. And he, he knew my parents by name. He knew yeah. my grandparents by name. You know, he, he um, uh, and his longtime uh, business partner, Steve Stone, were um, you know, the first mm -hmm. faces I would see, um, but usually only because they were holding the door for my family to come in, do you right. know? Um, mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's very, um, some of my fondest Broadway memories are those early moments right after a curtain call on an opening night. Mm. Well, I just, uh, we would have a, a toast in my dressing room with m my agents, Mark and Steve, and my family. Right. And those are some of my most cherished uh, memories. So uh, they really do become, uh, part of the, they get to know you in a way because they have to be able to know what you're like on the outside, but also on the inside you to be, be very able to, with them and absolutely, yeah. and, and, and be comfortable with um, oftentimes disagreeing with them mm -hmm. or, or, or asking them for things, mm -hmm. you know, again, talk about difficult conversations, mm -hmm. uh, calling somebody up and saying, hey, I really need a job. Mm -hmm. How can you how can you help? Like the the, the funds are dwindling, mm -hmm. um, you know. And and uh, Mark was always amazing at that. And uh, y it is a very um, intimate relationship. Absolutely. Right. So what 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 does uh, the AFSP want people to people who maybe are in need? I mean, what what kind of services can do they provide people who need someone to talk to and have a real convo and. Well, all sorts. I mean, uh, if you if you go to the um, their website, uh, there's all sorts of resources there, mm -hmm. both for um, finding out how to have these conversations. Mm -hmm. You know, um, uh, also there's you know uh, directions to uh, find a crisis hotline. If you know yeah. if if somebody is in crisis, mm -hmm. you should make yeah. a phone call and, right. and and talk to someone uh, who's you know um, trained in that right. area. Which which, as I said, I am not, but. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm I'm not open to having a conversation with somebody mm -hmm. that can lead to that, right? right? And right. Um, uh, but AFSP is really um, working to help us understand this mm -hmm. better, mm -hmm. um, help us learn how to treat it like the public health issue that it is. Right. Um, you know, uh, 
death by suicide is one of the top 10 right. um, ways that Americans pass in, mm-hmm. you know, in our country. So it, it really, um, they're doing very, very noble work on behalf of all of us. Um, and so I'm very thrilled and honored that they um, have added me to their marathon team. And, and by the way, I'm not the only one running. You know, mm-hmm. there are about 15 runners mm-hmm. on the team, uh, one of which will be uh, Mark's niece, oh. um, who oh. I'm told is, is uh, uh, a bit of a badass. Can I say yeah. badass? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah uh, a bit of a badass. So um, uh, Casey Schlegel, who um, <laughs> will be running alongside me and, uh, well, probably running way out in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in fact, uh, I should ask her how she feels about, like, piggyback rides or, you know, maybe just... <laughs> Are you at your most physically fit right now? Ever? A- absolutely not. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, I think, I think uh, if I'm lucky, I'll get back to uh, my gentleman's guide uh, fitness by okay. the time by okay. the time it's race day. But you know, it's running a marathon is is a different thing altogether, as mm-hmm. as um, as Beth will tell you. It's uh, it's as much mental as it is physical, mm-hmm. which is again why I feel like it's a perfect mm-hmm. um, metaphor for right. um, this conversation I'm I'm trying to have is. Uh, where do you have to train yourself mm-hmm. other than in your body? We mm-hmm. have to train our minds too. Yeah. And um, there's a lot of talk, you know, as you mentioned, there's been some um, high profile death by suicides um, recently. And um, while that's been terrible to see, it's, I think, added a certain urgency yeah. to yeah. this conversation, a certain momentum to our, um, our, our need to, to confront this issue. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And as I say in the, in the launch video, you know, to stop running away from this mm-hmm. and turn around and, and run towards it. One thing I should say is that, you know, I, it took me a while to be able to talk about Mark's yeah. passing. And, you know, I'm here a, over a year later. Mm-hmm. Um, when it first happened, I was not in a healthy enough place to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, anyone who's who's out there who's a suicide loss survivor shouldn't feel the need to yeah. talk about it right away and, in fact, should go through their own course of healing before they're yeah. they're ready to have the conversation. But uh, they should also know, as I have learned um, from AFSP and others who have gone through the process, that healing is possible, that yeah. there's hope um, both for prevention uh, in the future and hope for healing for those of us who have lost, lost somebody. Yeah. Love it. You know, you said something before we went on camera that, uh, that, I, that I think you should share. We, I, I mentioned that it's 9-11. Mm. Of course, today is a horrible, a horrible day for anyone who, who went through 9-11 and people, especially people who are in New York. And, you know, I always think of LaShawns who, you know, lost uh, her husband, Calvin Gooding, uh, in the World Trade Center. And I saw, by the way, I saw on her Instagram, she's met, she saw Bill Clinton today because she was oh. at the uh, Tanner Fitzgerald Relief Fund. They, I guess they have a, a charity day. Uh, so hey, she, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm always, always thinking of LaShawns on, on 9-11. And I said, God, what a, you know, now we're, we're talking about suicide. And, yeah. you know, we're not lightening up 9-11. And you said something which I actually thought was, was kind of special. Well, I, ju- I just said that, um, you know, if ever there were a day to affirm the value of human life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, and that's, that's what I think AFSP is, is out to do and out to remind us and to teach us how to remind each other yeah. that we, um, no matter what thoughts we have, we are not our thoughts yeah. and that we do have value and there's always hope. Mm-hmm. There's always hope. So, um, it, yes, it's a, it's a, somber day yeah. um in in new york city but i, I always find that uh you know there's a beating heart in in new york that you can't right. stop yeah um Absolutely. and and i feel that more than ever on on this day in particular because even like uh all my cab drivers were nice to me today yeah. <laughs> you know there's just a there's just a, yeah. a sense of looking out for each other yeah, yeah, yeah. um and that's that's what this um, real combo campaign is, is trying to do, and and what I'm asking the um, my Broadway friends to to help me mm-hmm. start. So I appreciate you guys talking about it. Yeah, there's going to be a link. You're going to find the link under this video, yeah. so you can uh, help this guy run the marathon. Hey, Caitlin, did you want to uh, add anything or ask? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, I a lot of people are kind of just solidifying and affirming what we're talking about, and I think going off, it's really. As you know, a fellow person who has lost someone to suicide, it's so important to give yourself that time. T- and th- I feel like sometimes there's this need to you must immediately go out and talk about it. And there's always this kind of weird pressure, I guess, to mm-hmm. it. But give yourself that time and let yourself take it in and let yourself have 
that moment of reflection, then you're able to better help others. And also there's um, a really great ways you can get involved too. You can, you know, every month I sign up and I tech, people can, I'm part of a suicide prevention and crisis line where people actually have my number. And so I sign up for an hour, like, every other week and for that hour people can have my number and text me and just be like hey I'm really struggling right now and it's something it's free it's easy and you feel really good of just being able to like hey I'm here I can help you what's going on and just find out ways and just what's like that convo what's that? I don't remember the name of it at the moment but it's super easy look it up um, but you can sign up it's free you go through a quick training so you know what to say to people but there's always ways to help out and um, never be afraid to talk to someone because it's not embarrassing and people love you so never feel embarrassed to talk about your feelings well said yeah. and yeah. the other thing we should say is you know you don't have to run a marathon yeah um, exactly there are there are the you. afsp <laughs> 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 the afsp has has tons of events um they have these great uh walk out of darkness events where you can you can walk do a walk that you, you, yeah. you've done it yeah, yeah. They, they start at night and sort of finish at sunrise oh, you know cool. which is a beautiful metaphor um, and uh, so there are many ways uh, th in which you don't have to run to 26.2 miles uh, to to contribute yeah. your 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 part to the conversation. Mm -hmm. So, um, and AFSP is a great resource to, to find out, li like the hotline. Um, yeah. You know, different ways to do that. Yeah, awesome. Amazing. Uh, well, thank you so much. So everyone, um, real convo. It's a hashtag. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Bryce Pinkham, you are fantastic on stage. We love you when you're in amazing shows like Ghost the Musical. <laughs> <laughs> you were the bad guy. Yeah, uh, was, yeah. And, <laughs> and, 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 I'll uh, never forget having the gorgeous, amazing Casey Levy yes. in the safest headlock I could yeah. make because yeah, I was like, were. this is one of the greatest know, voices we have. I have to protect her. No, she had to. <laughs> she had to be okay to do Frozen. Yeah. Uh, you had to make sure she was okay. Exactly. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Mm -hmm. It's so great to hear you talk so passionately about this, and and I love that you're doing it. The marathon mm -hmm. is on November fourth. Tis. Right? Tis. Countdown. Countdown. Yeah, apparently, <laughs> there's an app where you can like put in my number or whatever, and you can follow me and see how slowly oh, really? I'm going. Like while yeah. you're running. Yeah. 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 So oh, cool. I'll, I'll get all that information out there and going in time. So oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. So follow this guy on the Bryce Capades. Yes amazing name <laughs> uh on social media and um you're doing it for mark schlegel and uh it's a it's really really an incredible cause and everyone uh please take everything we said to heart and and do the research if you need the research and mm -hmm. and have some real convos love it it's not easy but you can do it just start talking awesome oh. thanks Bryce. thanks paul thanks caitlin you could take us out sure Thank you guys so much for tuning in for this very special episode. You can listen. We are live at 5 every single day on Facebook. And you can listen to all of our previous interviews by searching hashtag live at 5 on podcasts. So on Spotify and iTunes and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. We talk to Jen Colella of Come From Away.